Good morning, sports fans. We are out here at Jake's Furnishings, located at 1100 Woodlawn Road in Lincoln, open seven days a week. Phone 735-1212 or go online to jakesfurnishings.com. You're in the cheap seats, Josh Komnick, along with Doug Jake. Good morning, Josh. Don't yeah. miss a beat, Komnick. That's right. Hey, it's a lot better morning uh, than we had yesterday. The weather's better. Railers uh, got a lot of things going on here. In yeah. Town. Uh, yeah, I was out at the, uh, the Railer game yesterday, and uh, they've got a tournament going on out at Mike Curry Field, and along with the Lincoln Rec Center, I believe a Streeter is in town. Troy Triad is in town, and also the number one team in state, the Edwardsville. Yep. They're always good. You're uh, familiar with your high school days of baseball, Jake. Edwardsville was always a uh, contender in, in the state of Illinois, and they're here in Lincoln. And, and li actually, Lincoln lost to them yesterday 7-5 to five in, se in the seventh inning. Uh, you know, they're going into <coughs> it, and uh, Edward Edwardsville was able to, uh, to take the lead. But uh, a lot of good baseball going on. Looks like it's going to be a great day for a little chilly. But uh, at this time of year, it's kind of what you expect. I mean. Yeah, I was going to say, the nice thing about it is you get out there and uh, for a kid, if they're moving around, staying active, they're going to actually be pretty warm. So right. it's the parents on the sideline that you that think about it. Good thing the sun's out, but it uh, looks like, <coughs> let's see, uh, the schedule for that tournament, uh, like I said, it is out at Mike Curry Field and also the Lincoln Rec Center. Lincoln is going to be taking on Streeter at 10 a.m. this morning. Edwardsville and Troy Triad, which that, that'll be a heck of a game. Troy Triad's usually a, uh, a good baseball team down from the St. Louis area also. Uh, that's at 10 o'clock also, but that's at the rec center. And then Lincoln and Troy Triad will play at 1, and Streeter and Edwardsville will play at 1 at the, uh, at the rec center also. So uh, a lot of baseball going on. We wanted to get to that real quick uh, early on so you can uh, get yourselves dressed and get out to, uh, to Mike Curry Field and watch some baseball. Nice day to be out there. Get out about, check out your local team and see what's going on here in town. Not only that, but there's a lot of Little League stuff going on, sure. too, which is always, you know, it's always fun just to hang out, talk to some people, shake, be some, shake some hands. Speaking of, I'm uh, headed out to LDC Fields after the show this morning to, uh, I wouldn't necessarily call it coaching, but um, uh, obstructing justice <laughs> with our my son's. <laughs> A uh, three and four year old soccer team, so we'll be heading out there on a nice day uh, on a nice day today for that. But now at three and four, it's kind of like a, a pack of bees <laughs> following somebody, isn't it? I mean, at the least. ball goes one way, and all the kids follow it. If you, you know? can get them to follow the ball, half the time, um, yeah, they're Playing looking with at right stuff. or looking into the stands yeah. or the seats, and uh, or if uh, some little youngster begins to cry, which it happens a lot. Uh, some will just stare, stand there and watch them as the ball runs right by them and not yeah. even move a muscle, just standing there looking at one of their teammates cry. I remember my uh, first year, uh, my daughter's first year playing baseball. She uh, gets a gets a double. I mean, smoked one. Gets a second base, gets the base, and does a pillow or a silhouette <laughs> on the base. I'm like, oh, no. That's why you practice at home. Season. That's yeah, why that's you a, practice at home. That's exactly right. You, get the, you, you do a little celebratory <laughs> dance there at the second base. <laughs> hey, we wanted to uh, go through some of the weeks uh, in baseball, uh, especially from the Railer side. They were, they swept a uh, two-game series from Landfear this week. One uh, on Tuesday, Lincoln won 17-5. to five. And then Lincoln also won 10 to two on Thursday, so Lincoln has improved their Central State Eight record to seven and three right now. And uh, first year coach Coach Courtright, which we're going to try and have on the show one of these Saturdays, that uh, whether it be a later start or a rain delay or a rain out, uh, we can get Coach Courtright on the show to talk about the uh, the Railer baseball team. But off to a good start, uh, even though we're probably midway through their season already. At seven and three in the conference, of course, um, Chatham always a uh, tough foe in the conference. Sacred Heart Griffin actually they, they beat Sacred Heart Griffin to give them their first conference loss uh, earlier on in the season. And, but Jake, I wanted to talk to you. I was reading the, the paper the other day, and Lincoln JV, and this was not a typo, scored 35 runs in one game. What in the world? <laughs> is that? I mean, Lincoln won against Landfair, thirty-five to three on Tuesday. I've never seen that many runs. I was going to ask you: Have you ever game. seen no. that many runs? Even back in the back in the day when I was playing, I think the most I saw was like twenty-four. Well, I mean, you get to a certain point, 
and you're where just, and you just and you, and you just stop trying to be honest. You just want to get it over. Yeah, with. And, and it's not like that game went into seven innings either. That game was probably called after five. Oh, yeah. I think the the still the ten run rule is after five innings, thirty five runs. Now, what if you're a Landfear? What what if you're a coach on the oppose or the parent on the opposing team with this kid on the mound, serving it up? You know, a lot of major league coaches will say, "You just gotta, you just gotta stick it out there for us, so we don't have to bury <laughs> another pitcher." Well, this guy really stuck it out I mean, there. Good night. He to say he got hammered. Did he get hit in the head? I, I didn't. They <laughs> didn't go into all the facts about the game, but there. I know it said Lincoln thirty-five, and in in quotations. Well, you know, something I've noticed this year, though, in reading a little bit about the Railers, it seems like they're scoring a lot of runs this year, man. Uh, more so than compared to the last few years. So. I uh, don't know if that has something to do with the coaching change or what what, what it has to do with, to be well, honest. I think weather has definitely helped it. We well, talked it about this warm. earlier on in the year uh, yeah. where we were in the 80s, and, you know, I, I can just remember back when we were playing that, you, you know, early on in the season, you were lucky to get a hit. I mean, yeah. it just hurt yeah. to get a hit or it stung or something like And now they've gone to these new bats where it's even harder to get Yeah. You know, softer I, and, I, and, and everything. I, yeah. I think also that the guys aren't trying to hit as many home runs. You know, they, they figured out these bats are kind of like wood. I yeah. mean, it's they're similar to wood. I watch some college games on I TV. I can hit a home run with wood. Well, I know you can, but you're <laughs> a little exception to the rule. Uh, but I watch some college games on TV, and man, they they hit it, and you know, whoa, that that baby's way gone, and it, oh, it's yeah. an easy fly out. Yep. I mean, it just it's twenty feet diff- short of the warning right. track. It's yep. a different bat now, and I think maybe what has maybe helped the high schoolers, not just here in Lincoln or. Anywhere is like, you know, maybe we're not going to hit very many home runs, so let's just ping it up the middle and let's just, just hit doubles and base hits and not swing as hard. and Pound just, it out, do some yeah. base stealing. Yeah, exactly. Hit and, runs. And I think the, the runs, <laughs> as Lincoln has shown, is going 35, but I want to also, also ask you. <laughs> 35. They win 35-3 to three on Tuesday, but come back and lose 11-5 to five on Thursday. So you get to that. They still put a five. You get to that mental aspect of. Yeah, man, we just beat these guys. It's, it's going to be like this again, and then you come up short. You know, yeah. it's kind of that, that different mind, different day. that mind game. And, and you say, yeah, a different day of uh, of baseball where you're playing, um, it, like you said, different pitcher, different day. The weather conditions are different, um, different umpire. It's just a whole new yeah. game going on. So, uh, both those at home? No, no. home away. Yeah, split. home and away, just like the uh, yeah. like the varsity. So, uh, thirty five. I, I think that's a new record for me. I don't know that I've, I've uh, in seen in it. high school. I don't know that I've ever seen it. Only in slow pitch softball has have I seen. I 35. have seen. I've seen fifty. Yeah, that's uh, that's a lot of runners crossing the plate. Uh, unfortunately, dead. unfortunately for the Lions of <laughs> of Landfear on that day against the Railers, and then again uh, the sophomore Railers lost eleven to five on that Thursday to uh, to round out the the week kind of in Railer baseball again. That tournament going out at the uh, at Mike Curry Field today. Some good uh, good baseball teams. Streeters in town. Edwardsville's in town. Troy Triads in town. Lincoln is Lincoln is getting ready here in about uh, 45 minutes to take on Streeter at 10 a.m. Edwardsville and Troy Triad. They're also at 10 a.m. But they're playing over at the Rec Center. I'm sure over by the, uh, the at the Legion Diamond. <laughs> Lincoln and Troy Triad will be at one o'clock at Mike Curry Field, and then Streeter in Edwardsville at one o'clock at the uh, at the Rec Center. Also, so get out there and. Uh, Check out some good, good high school baseball. <laughs> Jake, I wanted to bring up something. That a guy that uh, uh, not only have I coached against, but I played against. Uh, a guy that's built a program at Chatham Glenwood, and uh, it's not necessarily as far as Logan County interest, but a guy that is a really good guy, Pat Moomy, the coach at Chatham Glenwood. And I'm sure a lot of people have maybe saw it on the news last night or read the paper already this morning. Uh, reaches 700 wins in his 27th season as the Chatham Glenwood coach. Mm. Uh, he's one of only 11 coaches in Illinois history with 700 wins. He's 700, 225, and two uh, <laughs> state champions in 1996 and 2010. He was second in state in 95 and uh, 2009. And although we want to kind of uh, what well, we do, we want to beat the Titans. Oh yeah, every year uh, they're kind of that. That standard of uh, of baseball, not only in the Central State Eight, but I think uh, uh, statewide, as far as baseball, I, I kind of wanted to give some props to him because he's a great guy. Uh, I played against him; he was coaching when I was playing. Of course, he's had uh, Jason Worth, the number one draft pick, yep. uh, several 
draft picks. I know <coughs> that same year Jason Worth was uh, drafted. They had a guy by the name of Crawford who was a left-handed pitcher, got drafted in the 16th round. So not only has he had talent and being a good coach, uh, he's put them things, th- those two things together, and, and I think he'll also credit – Back when I was coaching some of the heat programs, uh, age groups, they were always a top team yeah. we played in the summer baseball. And as you know, Jake, you got to have uh, dads or volunteers to yep. uh, get those guys ready for high school baseball, even starting them out early. Yeah, oh, absolutely. And it's getting di- more diff- more and more difficult these days. Uh, the economy the way it is. Sure. People are working a lot more. Uh, you got uh, dual-income families now, whereas, you know... It, it was kind of changed, I think, when, when you and I were playing at, at a young age where the maybe the mom didn't work as often as the, as the dad, whereas nowadays it's both parents. Sure. So it, it does make it a lot more difficult Not nowadays want to get don't, the kids They out. don't want to travel as much. Gas prices are higher. Doesn't you know. want to travel as much. Plus, you know, the, the family time, you don't, if you're working two jobs, you don't get actual family time sure. much anymore. And I mean, not to bring in all that, but right. it, but it is, it, it does have a big part of it. And you know, a, a dad and a mom might say, you know, it's Saturday. We we don't want to sit around and watch the kid play. We want to be able to go and do stuff. Mm-hmm. And we're going to take our children with us, I hope, uh, and, and do stuff as a family. And, you know, I, I can respect that. But at the same time, man, I, I, I know me personally, I learned a lot of lessons playing baseball. Huge. And uh, uh, ta- ta- teaches you a lot of things about discipline and a lot of other things that uh, you may not get just by – you know, hanging out and doing some other things. Commitment so. to your team, responsibility. Yeah. Uh, not only is the commitment by the by the players, but uh, also as the parents. So uh, before we get into all that kind of stuff, you know, uh, I just wanted to give a shout out to him. Seven hundred wins, one of only eleven coaches in Illinois. It's a it's awesome. pretty neat thing to be in this area and have a program. Uh, I think it's kind of built like Lincoln High School basketball is kind of built. Yep. As a uh, uh, well known in the state of. You know, that sport, well, Chatham Glenwood is right there. And we've got, uh, not only do we have Griffin in football, we've got Lincoln in basketball, and, and we've got uh, we've got Chatham in baseball. So in the Central State A, we're, I think we're pretty well known. And, and I want to say maybe the three of the major sports, if I guess you want to call it, uh, in high school uh, athletics. So Pat Moomy, 700 wins. Good job. I just hope the uh, the Railers will uh, We'll knock them off when uh, when they come to town and when we go to uh, Chatham Glen. And hey, Jake, we got to take a quick commercial break. We're out here at Jake's Furnishings, located at 1100 Woodlawn Road in Lincoln. Come out and see Jake. Open seven days a week. Give him a call at 735-1212 or go online to jakesfurnishings.com. You're in the cheap seats, 96.3 FM and WLCN. Back out here at Jake's Furnishings, located at 1100 Woodlawn Road in Lincoln, open seven days a week. Phone them at 735-1212 or go online to jakesfurnishings.com. Jake, we get into uh, Major League Baseball. Cardinals are still rolling. They are. Got some team. Well, I mean, no, compared they, to my guy. No, maybe <laughs> yeah, the yeah, worst yeah, team yeah, at baseball. I think, no doubt. I mean, oh, just... I, I'm not. I'm not feeling confident for uh, old Dale over there for this year. But you know, I guess to to get good, I guess you gotta get bad. I guess <laughs> uh, get I bad. We've been bad. <laughs> what do you mean? You're not. The, you weren't this bad. No. Well, we had players. I mean, the other day. What happened to Marlon Bird? I don't know. He's, he he was he, a major league baseball player. He wasn't was he? 300. Hit, yeah, and he's batting like 190 now. I don't think you have more than one guy hitting over 250. Reed Johnson the other day was our best outfielder, and he was playing right field. <laughs> Reed Johnson. A slap hitting. I don't well, remember. I don't even know the I mean, human that was in center field. Never oh heard of him God. or the guy in left. I watched the game. Uh, well, no, I shouldn't say that. I watched part of the and game. And what's up with your shortstop? When I say your shortstop, the Cubs shortstop in La La Land. I was talking about my daughter hitting the double and doing a little dance on second base. He's doing a little dance between every pitch at shortstop. I have no idea. I quit watching him. I watched uh, about four innings, and that was that will be the last that I watch of the season. Oh, my goodness. The other day. It, it's, I, unfortunately for me, being the baseball fan that I am, I will watch more Cup baseball. It's going to kill me. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's, I mean, yeah. It, it, it's, it's about as bad as watching a double-A team right now. They are a double-A team. I mean, I mean, and we'll get into a little, maybe a little more of that if you can even get into that. 
We'll get into their baseball scores from last night, uh, Jake, but I wanted to go. Uh, now, if you were not saying that you don't have some flow, some cash, mm-hmm. but if you had expenditures where you didn't get mad about spending, your wife maybe not get mad that you oh, spent. Oh, yeah, that or, never happens for me. A New Jersey man paid $1.2 million for a rare 1909 Honus Wagner baseball card in an online auction. I believe it was on Thursday. Don't quote me on the day. $1.2 million on one baseball card. And I go back, Jake, I remember myself, I, I think really the only reason I bought baseball cards was to put them in the spokes of my tires on the on, on my bike. Really? Yeah. Were you a, were you a baseball card oh, guy? I love baseball Really? I mean, cards. You, you actually collected them and, yeah. and put them in the cases and, yep. and didn't touch not them? So much. Not, not so much. Not so much. I I didn't know that much about it. I didn't know the intricacies of it. But uh, I, I mean, just, do you have some that you I, go back now that you think when you got them now could be no, – I'm not saying worth $100,000. I'm just saying yeah. worth yeah, 20 bucks, yeah, 30 there, bucks, 50 Yeah, there's a few. Yeah, and you still got them? Still got them. Really? Yeah, oh yeah. Uh, you know, like some uh, uh, Roger Clemens, uh, Doc Good, and Daryl Strawberries. Uh, those those were real big cards back back then. Uh, I I believe I got a Pedro. I, I've got I got some decent cards. It's just I I used to enjoy it because uh, it was more like being a part of the game. I used to I used to love looking at the back of the card and comparing mm-hmm. them. Uh, something that, you know, it just doesn't happen anymore. Uh, you know, which, good, bad, or whatever. You got the internet. You can look at anything. I mean, I, I love looking at going to different websites and checking team stats, checking, uh, comparing players from one team to right. another. I still do that. I'm kind of You don't have to look guy, on the back so. of a card anymore. That, I, and I think that's why they've really died off, to be honest. But it, there was just something about ripping open that tops or that. Just uh, not to get the piece of gum that was in it. That's exactly right. Okay. Because the gun was horrible. Well, it was, but it I was. used it for the spokes to make my bike sound like a really hot rod or something. See, I didn't want people to see me coming up on them with my really? bike. So, no, I was kind of like a ninja. So, if you had the <laughs> expenditures, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> hey, would you give yes. a million dollars for a baseball card? Yes. Really? I, I find that yeah, just... And, and what I would do for... Uh, uh, odd. For... Uh, game used items would be a lot more. See, now I'm not I wouldn't mind a jersey worn by Potus Wagner or or his, or his gloves. Yeah, his but spikes. I'm not a baseball card. I mean, I'd love a to have a spike piece That'd of cardboard. Awesome. That, yeah. Ty Cobb. Can you imagine getting a pair of Ty Cobb spikes? Some some spikes that he injected into an oppo- uh, opposing second baseman. <laughs> I mean, that'd be awesome. Well, it's and, and yeah, I, I like my memorabilia as of that. Like you have the the, the bat mm-hmm. over there. Uh, I, I like that stuff. But baseball cards, I'm not a, and I just, you know, I'm just curious. Uh, you're a baseball guy. Uh, I just, I like I said, I, I always, I, I like seeing the players on the team and the new players that come out. I thought it was pretty. I always thought it was just cool. I get a rookie card and it always said rookie on there, and I had no idea who they were. Mm-hmm. And back then. You don't get the radio stations from other areas. You don't get television stations. I didn't even have ESPN. I mean, I don't. ESPN wasn't around then. Heck, you turned the dial on the TV. Right. So we didn't have satellite or nothing. So, I mean, this was as much interaction as I had with the other teams as I was going to have. Yeah. Unless they played the Cardinals. Unless you're on the radio. Or, or the Cubs. I, I listened to a little bit of the Cubs, but not much back then. I was too busy. That's why you're warped. I. Hey, the scores from last night, uh, Jake. Of course, my Cubs lost nine to four to Cincinnati. What they got their ten thousandth win? I think I read that. I think that sounds about right. Ten thousandth yeah. win for the Cincinnati Gotta Reds. Got to be around a long time to get ten thousand. Washington too, who is a big surprise in in the Major League Baseball. Washington, mm-hmm. I, I believe. Uh, I'll get to the record here in just a second. Uh, ten but and three. I yes, think. yes. I was going to say ten and three, eleven and three for the Washington Nationals, who is a little bit of a. Uh, well, not a little bit. I guess a big surprise, along yeah. with the Baltimore Orioles, for uh, for top spots in their. Uh, you, in their you know, though, if if you look at it before the season started, and I had said this that the Nationals, with their pitching, is so improved that if they can get any kind of offense, they'll be doing something. So eleven and four, Washington Nationals. St. Louis wins again, four to one over Pittsburgh. We'll get into a little bit of that game. New York San Francisco Giants was a winner in 10 innings, 4-3 to over the New York Mets. 
Houston lost to the Dodgers, who the Dodgers are hot too. Dodgers are hot. Uh, three at uh, three to one, they won. Uh, the Dodgers are ten and three right now. Milwaukee lost to Colorado four to three. Atlanta was a winner nine to one over Arizona. Philadelphia winner over San Diego four to one, and that was National League Baseball. And on the hundredth anniversary of Fenway, the New York Yankees kind of spoiled the celebration, yeah. as you can see some pictures here on the internet of uh, past players and things holding uh, what it looks to be champagne or something with the old-time uniforms, really cool uniforms worn by the uh, Red Sox and the uh, the Yankees, but the Yankees won 6-2. to two. Minnesota was a winner over Tampa Bay, 5-4. to four. Toronto, 4-3 to three over Kansas City. The Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim, 6-3 to three over Baltimore, and uh, still Pujols, I believe, 58 at bats, I think they said. Something like that. Yeah. 58 at bats, somewhere around that area, without a home run so far. He'll be fine. Yeah. I hope not. Uh, yeah. No, I'm, I'm, it's just, he, he did that last year with the Cardinals. He was pressing until he got his first one. Then after that, it was lights out. Yeah. And, and then he, what he hit, like the last month of the season, I think it was over 400. Yeah, the so White I mean, Sox. White Sox were a winner 7-3. to three. And uh, Chicago six and six right now for you White Sox fans here in in Lincoln and uh, in Logan County. But uh, Jake, back to your Cardinals. Uh, still, of course, the top spot ten and four. Milwaukee six and seven. Boy, that's bad. This that the next best team isn't even above five hundred. No. Six and seven is Milwaukee. Six and eight is Cincinnati. Houston five and eight. Pittsburgh five and eight. And I'm going to tell you the little record of the yeah, last. Yeah, don't team even go there. Because Jake uh, has already. Said it that they're the worst team in baseball, although the Padres are right there with them. Sick three and eleven, <laughs> three and eleven. I guess I broke the yeah, ice. Yeah, I was there. gonna say I think the Padres are better than that. Three and eleven. Hey, Philadelphia is just six and seven right now. So, uh, you know, a lot of a lot of time to go. But your Cardinals, um, you know, give everybody an update of what's been going on with them. Although Wainwright's still struggling. Well, you know, coming off Tommy John surgery. Uh, he said that's not a crutch. I read his quote. You know, yeah, you, it, it may not be a crutch, but at the same time. To, to get to where you're comfortable with your form consistently, uh, they take they they say, they say it takes at least three months of actual baseball activities. So if you're looking at that factor, I mean, you know, you get into July uh, and he's still losing, uh, that's an issue. But at the same time, to be honest, the Cardinals haven't put up any runs while he's pitching. Yeah. At all, which is the only games they haven't put up. Right, they've been scoring like, I mean, like crazy. Uh, I think we're one of the top four teams in home runs, R- RBIs, uh, batting average. Uh, gee, I mean, heck, we're even stealing bases. New Cardinals, coach. Cardinals haven't stole, stolen bases since Ozzy Smith was playing before Tony Russo. Well, the one game I did watch was the Cubs and Cardinals. It was that Saturday after I had uh, – exploded for that big cub win on that friday <laughs> and then yadier molina steals a base on us without yeah. even a throw and then I, and then i just shut it off yeah and then i just shut the game off yeah it believe me i, I watched the rest of that series for you it was not worth watching <laughs> no um, i it, it, it made me shake my head on how the hell did they pull off that first one so <laughs> yeah I, I i didn't watch it and that'll be the last one that i uh do participate in. Now, what if they get on a run? I mean, you say How? that. How? I don't Who know. Who is going to get on a run for Maybe, him? Maybe the baseball god of Theo Espin strikes his team down and something happens. There's that, no possible way this team yeah, could go on a run. Right. It's just not, it's just so impossible. It's, it's, it's like it's like you said, a single A team against against uh, uh, you know, it's freshman it's against Barcelona. Terrible. I'm, I'm going up to tryouts for him this week. You could make it. <laughs> you can make it easily. Hey, Jake, we got to take another. Run to fir- I can't go home to second, but <laughs> I can make this neither can they. <laughs> we'll be back here in just a little bit. Uh, we got to take a quick commercial break out here at Jake's Furnishings. Come on out, out here at 1100 Woodlawn Road and visit Jake 735-1212. You're in the cheap seats, 96.3 FM and WLCNonline.com.